So iOS 17.5 actually ended up bringing some really cool stuff to the table. So I wanted to go and kind of break down some of the best tricks and tips within this particular version of update that is essentially here from the other previous versions, but it's a really cool update. Hopefully you all enjoy it. The first thing is we now actually have the ability of installing applications from the web, which in and of itself is pretty crazy. So right here, if we go and take a look at this particular article from 9 to 5 mac it kind of goes into detail exactly what this means. So web distribution, again, this is not available, I don't think, for everyone across the world, but it tells us we can now you know, basically have the capability to install applications directly from a developer's website. Now, this is the new web distribution feature that previewed, I guess, last month, but now it's going to actually be out, which is actually pretty insane. Now, this is the trickier thing. It says to utilize this functionality, developers must opt into the updated App Store business terms, which requires paying a core technology fee of 50 cents for every first annual installation exceeding 1 million in the preceding 12 months. I'm not really even too sure what all that means, but what this could mean for the average person out there is that if you're actually going through and you're utilizing your particular iPhone, if you're within the EU, if the developer that you're using actually does end up you know, utilizing this, what you can always do is you can go through onto their particular website and you can download the application directly from their website without even having to go inside of the app store. So once this is publicly available, you should be able to utilize that, which in and of itself is super crazy. Now there's another cool feature within iOS 17.5, which is now the widget for the podcast. So it looks like the podcast widget actually now gives us the capability of changing the color a little bit on that particular device, which is actually pretty cool. So if we hold down here, if we click on plus, if you're somebody who does use the podcast widgets, you know, quite frequently, what you'll notice is this particular color of this widget will now change whenever you listen to a certain podcast. So I think it matches with the tone of that particular podcast that you're listening to. So this in and of itself is very cool. Like if I listen to this, I can hop out. This should change, hopefully. I don't know why it's not changing. I guess it's not even really playing it. But it should start changing, which is very cool. And I think that in and of itself is a very nice thing going on for this particular update. Again, I have no idea why this is not changing right now. It should be, but I guess there's lots of glitches and stuff that are happening. But you can see from 9 to 5 Mac, again, you can see what this basically looked like. It says iOS 17.5 Beta 1 also includes a few of the small design changes that are worth pointing out. The podcast widget has been updated to have a new dynamic color. So that's actually a very cool thing that's going on here. Now, within this podcast app, there's a lot of other stuff. Now, another really cool thing within iOS 17.5 is this new anti-stalking feature. So this is actually a really cool thing. So with things like air tags and different, I guess, applications and you know tools that can be used within the Find My application, it looks like there's now this new anti-stalking feature, which can be kind of configured a little bit further. So this in and of itself was a very, very cool thing because as we all know, when air tags first came out, there was lots of issues that people could run into in terms of like people knowing their information. Now it looks like Apple's kind of improving this. And within iOS 17.5, Without you even having to do anything, there are actually some improvements here, which is actually very cool. So those are kind of the high level, I guess, some of my favorite tricks and tips with the iOS 17.5 as of this point. There's going to be a lot of new features coming around in the next couple of betas. But as of this point, that's pretty much what we know. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.